and down smash is a little bit dumb, but uh, everything else I think is super in a super good place. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of people were kind of worried when patch 3.0, the notes came out for that. By the way, Nintendo, please uh, do something about those patch notes because they're, they're a bit of a mess to read through half the time. But um, a lot of people were worried that Wolf might fall, fall off the tier list, but um, in the end, it, didn't, it just didn't really change anything. No, not really. They didn't, they didn't really touch him in any meaningful ways, in my opinion. I, I think Down Smash is still pretty dumb. Yeah. But, um, Although some char some characters like Korn and Mewtwo got some significant buffs. Yeah. Um, but, um, you know, a lot of people still debate whether or not that actually really changes anything with their character. Right. It's interesting to see how they'll develop in the next, like, month or two. Yeah. I do know that um, with version 3.0, Pichu kind of... His stance got changed, so now he can get hit more easily. But yeah. still, Pichu still hits like a truck no matter what. Yeah, Pichu's a, an interesting character. Yeah. Although, I, although yeah, and Olimar too. Uh, Olimar, God, it's just those characters are like the smallest in the game, but they hit you like a truck. God. I mean, you might as well just like replace their s a side smash with just the picture of a truck. <laughs> just like, vroom, Yeah. Very good character. And you know, come to think of it, uh, eat. Next, uh, in ju on June 11th, uh, we got the next Nintendo Direct, so we might expect an, uh, at least maybe one or two characters. Who knows? That's very true. Um, who knows what the future holds? The game is still very young. Yeah. Um, and actually, on June 11th, we're also they're also gonna do the Smash Ultimate World uh, th Championship. It's like a like a three-man team championship. Um, I've actually been uh, watching that for the past couple of weeks because those were like some preliminaries, and th th those are some interesting uh, games they got going. Even though the rule set is kind of wacky. Yeah, that's true. They, I think they run items and stuff. And yeah, and, the, and Smash Ball. I mean, come on. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, I mean, I think the Smash Ball is pretty cool, but that thing is just like a big like. You can pretty much like turn the tide of a match with that thing, you know. Definitely, without question. Yeah. Especially some specific characters. Yeah, some have not. Not all um, Final Smashes are created equal, yeah. to say the least. Okay, so we have a uh, stash and I think uh, Benny and Jets. Yeah, stash and Benny and the Jets. Um, so stash is number nine on the Georgia PR, um, and Benny and the Jets I believe is out from out of state, um, but I think he plays in the uh, Augusta scene a little bit. But uh, and I think he, he plays a lot of uh, Wi-Fi. I think he makes a lot of appearances in uh, Knifey Wars. But uh, Stash uh, has been playing Quam for a considerable amount of this season, but now he's uh, playing Palu. Maybe he just wasn't want to. Maybe he wants a little bit more of a keep away game rather than a than a, I guess. Yeah, and for for a character like Rob, you might want to do a good keep away game, mm -hmm. especially with how many projectiles and lasers that Rob has. Yeah, and he's got pretty good edge guard options. Um, so I, I I understand the pick. Um, not to say that Krom definitely can't do it, but I would understand the comfort in staying with Paulo. Yeah, I mean Rob had Rob definitely shows like a lot of good tournament results. Like uh, at th at Thunder Smash, Wadi I think took fourth place uh, with his Rob. Yeah. Oh, good confirm. Oh yeah, gets um, it up there right there. So very good awareness. Um, Tana City definitely um, uh, Paulo's best stage. So he's able to like set up a lot of things and move uh, very well around the platforms. Yeah, and. Yeah. And Robin, you know, Robin's just a really big robot, so he, he's got a lot of hitboxes. Yeah, he, he's pretty big, uh, has a relatively exploitable disadvantage, I think, in his, in his recovery can be a little... Okay, that oh. was a really smart, aggressive uh, coverage with that forward air, but uh, does take the stock work. Tries to get a roll read, oh, but does co cover with a side B. A oh very, very strong move. Uh, kills very early. I mean, he was definitely at 120% of the side blast zone, but yeah. um, it is definitely worth noting. I uh, actually, speaking of this disadvantage state... Uh, Going with the nears right there. Yes. Uh, it's kind of... I, I wouldn't say it's like easy to edge guard, but like it's easy to um, force Rob into situations off stage that he can't really come back from. So I, I like Stash's aggression at it, um, but I, I can also tell that Benny, with that forward air earlier, is definitely aware that he has to play a certain way trying to get back to stage. Yeah. Pretty sure he played Rob in Smash 4 too. Okay, okay. Trying to get some like frame trap stuff going on. Stuff's him out with that forward air. Okay. Oh, gets some really good laser. trade. Oh, it falls out of the up air. Uh, yeah, he was uh, next to that platform, and then he was falling past it, so it didn't get in the connection of the focus. Okay, that was uh, almost really spicy with that uh, explosive flame. But gets it with the top right there. Tries to go for the down tilt. Down tilt pressure on that shield. Oh, Nair, not enough. 
Still not. Oh, oh. that'll be enough. We out. Getting right. killed by his own top. Yes. Uh, and then Stash managed to roll on the stage, so didn't get uh, trapped for that. Um, that fast falling off the side of the stage. Man, I remember the Rob toy. That top was used to help you. Now it kills you. Dang, dude. <laughs> oh, a lot of pressure on that shield. I'm um, trying to guess if we can catch a roll or something. Yeah. But Stash not giving it to him. And he can hold this advantage state. He catches a gyro oh. for himself. Oh. oh, and this is putting uh, Benny in a pretty uh, bad spot. Okay, but getting the cross up roll into side B. Ooh, that side B just kill just kills you if you get yeah. caught in that thing. I need to figure out the name of that because I don't want to call it side B, but um. Very strong move and paying dividends with, for Benny right now. Um, but uh, Stash isn't going to let him have it that easy. Tries to hit him with his own top, but uh, Benny ends up catching it. Oh! Ooh, is Benny going to make a comeback here? He's definitely oh, oh, giving up that stage control. Oh, oh yeah, throwing down the gyro just a little bit too laggy and uh, Stash able to get that up air. So, uh, very solid play by both players. Um, I, I think that Stash was just able to. Um, just get more advantage in that last stock where Benny, like, he obviously evened it up, but he just wasn't, like, able to really get anything started um, for that last stock. Yeah, um, I think one, I, Rob uh, is definitely a character that's good and has a lot of uh, useful projectiles like Snake, but, like, what, like Snake, he's kind of hard to start, like, some major combos. Um, I think that's what, I think that's the biggest problem with, like, projectile heavy characters that <laughs> have, like, all these weapons in their arsenal, you know? Yeah, uh, I mean, I, I think that Rob in general has a lot of good setups um but i'm trying to think of like you're right like i don't like what is combos are for like i mean i guess this low person stuff is more like controlling neutral um but stash gonna switch it up with prom um i'm interested to see how this goes i mean he's definitely gonna be able to extend advantage in a, a much more aggressive way than he can with follow but um yeah. I, it definitely does put him at a uh, disadvantage as far as like how easily his stops can, stocks can evaporate. Yeah, and the fact that uh, Benny decided to go with Lilat might be another big disadvantage for Stash here. Uh, makes kind of makes you wonder why I, he changed. I honestly think that like this is a better choice to go with Chrom for Lilat than um, Palu because she needs to set up her projectiles in a specific way. Like if you look at these side side tilts, she can't. Um, I don't think she can do explosive flame in the same way because it like oh, rides up. It so. hits him with the forward air right there. But um, I I also agree. Um, now now that I think about it, like characters like Krom and Ike, like the the way the wow 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 oh. wow that was a really good trade for Stash. Um, he he's got a full stock lead. Um, that was a very that was that was a that was a good play. And Penny already down to his last and stock. Are we out? What? That was so oh. explosive to say the least. And look at that. It's um, this was done in 51 seconds. Oh my god. Come. <laughs> that. Um. Wow. All right, and that's uh, why we pick Chrome.